Welcome to Let's Build Something. Today we're gonna build a Westeros end table. My wife and I finally got rid of the humongous sectional that was sitting basically where I am right now. Um, and we got a really nice couch something we've been meaning to do for quite some time. And with the couch came a little bit of extra space, and something that I think our space has been missing is a set of really nice end tables. I kind of worked myself into a corner here um, by making an awesome Skyrim coffee table. Regular end tables just won't cut it anymore. So I want to make something similar to the Skyrim coffee table uh, that I made about a year ago. And I recently just finished reading the books from A Song of Ice and Fire. You might know it better from the HBO series Game of Thrones. Westeros is a deeply detailed and interesting map, and I think the form factor of Westeros is a very narrow island. Uh, it should work for an end table to go right there. My plan is to do one for Westeros, which is where most of the story takes place, and then later on down the road I'm gonna make one for Essos. A lot of Daenerys' story takes place there. I'm gonna do that probably in a couple weeks from now. So, we can just jump into this because last night uh, I used my projector, the same projector I used on this right here, um, to project the image of Westeros onto a piece of plywood. I'm going to use a router with different bits in order to carve away the material where the blue resin is gonna sit. I'm also going to use a rotary burr to get the really, really fine details, um, like islands and the rivers. So. Let's get to it. This is the Trident, where Robert Baratheon killed Rhaegar Targaryen with his Warhammer. This is the Eye, a lake south of Harrenhal, where Yaren and Arya made camp. It's also where Yaren ultimately dies. These are the Iron Islands, where Theon Greyjoy was born.
The table I'm trying to make is too small for the projector I bought for it to have enough detail in order to trace it out. So I'm going to have to transfer all the markings by hand. Skyrim table. I used a crappy like $12 pyrography kit. Basically it was just a soldering iron with a tip attachment. For this project and projects in the future I should go ahead and buy one that is a little bit more expensive um, and will shoot a little bit more power into the tip. That will get hotter faster and keep that heat um, easier. finally done with the wood burning, I'm going to build a border around the outside of the map. It's going to cover the exposed plywood and it's also going to create a mold for me to pour resin on top of what I already have. Um, it's going to be walnut. I have some walnut on hand and I think it looks nice. I'm also going to stain the plywood to match the Skyrim table. I bought online. The hardware is too long to use on this tabletop, so I'm gluing it in place for now. Finally, I added the top coat of resin and it was finished. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry this video took so long to come out. It took me about five weeks to make this. I know, buddy. If you like this build, I'd love to hear what you thought about it in the comments below. Um, it would also make my day if you consider liking uh, the video and subscribing to the YouTube channel for more stuff like this. I want to make another one of these for uh, Essos. My next video is going to be a 4th of July video. That one's kind of a secret because it's also going to be a prank, but I'm very excited about that. I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. You have a great day.